Okay, so, you know, like in Python, uh, an array is generally, um, uh, is, is generally, uh, is kind of a broad term, so basically any, any multiple dimensional, like, data sets, even just like one dimension, you can call an array. So 1D array, a 2D array, a 3D array, a 4D array. Um, in R, arrays are generally set aside to just mean anything that has more than two dimensions. So one dimension is a vector, either a single value, it's a scalar, or a list of values or characters or whatever, that it would be a vector. The, um, the, uh, uh, the matrix is two-dimensional, and then an array is basically just going to be anything that's more than two dimensions, right? Okay. So that's an array. So here, here's generating an array. Note it's actually pretty similar to setting up a matrix. So I'm creating some values here, and I'm doing that with this sequence function. So basically I'm saying create a sequence of values from 1 to 150 by 2. So that means we'll get 1, 3, 5, 7, so on and so forth. And then here are the dimension names. So these are going to be row names column names, and then I create this other thing called B names, and that's supposed to be for bands. So what I'm trying to do here is replicate like an image, like an RGB image with three dimensions, uh, rows, columns, and then channels, like red, green, blue. Okay, and then we take that data, and so we take the data, we um, set up the dimension, so it's going to have five rows, five columns, and three in the third dimension, which is like channels. And then we grab our, our names that we provided, and then we print back the array. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so basically this is the, the third dimension and the rows and columns in the third dimension. The rows and columns in the second in or the rows and columns in this in the second index of the third dimension and the rows and columns in the third the third index of the ro the rows and of the, of the third dimension right so um yeah so anyway this is uh so you, again you can kind of think of this as like a little image where these are all the little pixels and this would be like the blue channel the green channel and the red channel so one thing that's nice about the array data type is that you can actually like expand it into more than that so you get four or five dimensions so let's say for example if you were like modeling like the atmosphere um, so you could have a like a lat and long dimension, and then you could have an altitude dimension, which basically would build like a cube, or like voxels. And then you could have a time dimension, and then you could have a variable dimension. So basically using five dimensions, you could be able to store data at different volumes or locations within the atmosphere, have actually have different variables like temperature or pressure or humidity or something and also have time to see how it changes over time and then you could subset out like based on a certain extent or a certain altitude range or a certain range of dates or something from that larger data set so that's kind of the nice thing about an array data type okay um, indexing for arrays is pretty much the same setup as it is for a vector or for a matrix except that now you have three or more dimensions so you just have to have indexes for all the dimensions so in this example I'm basically just pulling out the value that is at row one column one band one and this is pulling out the values from row one through through three column one through three and band one so that just pulls out that data from the larger matrix there so it's just one for the first one and the second one you get back this three by three object.